Hello, I'll be showing you what workers are and how to deploy them. So Cloudflare Workers is a service that allows people to deploy JavaScript to Cloudflare's data centers around the world. Cloud our workers sit between your user and your origin server and can modify requests, as you can see in this diagram. They're also able to serve your application directly. This means your application is served at the nearest location possible to your user. You don't have to worry about any of the load balancing or setting up an origin server or the distribution of your app. Uh, you can imagine a scenario where being able to handle requests and return a new response is useful. For instance, if you're using object storage and you want your users to request something like domain.com slash CDN slash image, then you can parse the URL, get image.png, and then request that image from your bucket and then return the image to the user. And all of that's done through workers. This is made possible through Google's V8 JavaScript engine for Chrome. It was originally intended to run JavaScript securely in the browser, but it can also run stuff outside of the browser. So Cloudflare takes advantage of this and securely isolates your code through V8 to run in more than 100 data centers around the world. I've linked to some great talks explaining more about how Cloudflare workers work and uh, how V8 plays into that and the description below along with the documentation to workers. So let's look at an example. So here we're listening to the fetch event. And so when the fetch event is fired, that means a request has come into Cloudflare. So then we take the request from this event and we pass it to the handle request function. And then we respond with whatever this function uh, returns. So here, uh, we console log the URL from the request, and then we return example.com, whatever the contents of example.com are. So you can see here, uh, this is where you can just test stuff. And so we have our workers URL slash image.png. And then with click send, you can see that image.png is right here. And it, this can be anything, it could be image.jpg or whatever other the URL. And that this is uh, the URL. And you can imagine you can parse this and you know, uh, take the image.jpg from it and request your bucket, like I mentioned earlier. But in this example, uh, it's just returning example.com. Um, so then to actually get to workers, you click the workers tab right here and you click manage workers. That's where you can create workers. But once you've created one, if you wanna add it to an, a route, so my domain is dev-example.com, and then you would choose the worker that you want to assign to that route. So here you can see that I've assigned the example worker to this domain. And if we actually visit the domain, you can see that example.com is indeed returned. Okay, so this is a example React app that I made. It can take two numbers and multiply them together and return the result. So this sounds simple, and it is, uh, but when you actually type in the two numbers, you can see the result, uh, you get 25. But what's actually happening is it's requesting a the example-rust-worker. So this is a API that I created that's uh, written in Rust and runs on workers. So uh, this is the Rust worker. You can clone this and look at the code. Um, so if we actually go into source, lib.rs, you can see that this is the function. So it takes two integers and multiplies them together and returns the result. So how to create something like this? You need to do uh, Wrangler. So Wrangler is the Cloudflare, uh, um, it's the program that runs in your terminal and it's a tool where you can easily create new workers, whether it's a React app or Rust or anything else that uh, works with WebAssembly. So you can look up your language, whatever language you're using, and space WebAssembly and see if it works. And um, so after you install this, you go into your project and you type uh, Wrangler space init space dash dash type space webpack. And the reason why I'm using webpack, even though this is a Rust application, is because um, 
if we actually go into workers and then worker.js. So this should look um, somewhat familiar. Remember earlier when we uh, handled the fetch event? So this is doing the same thing. And then it passes it to the handle request. And here I just have a router that listens for API slash multiply. So uh, I'm using Webpack because if you want to import things here, uh, you'll have to use Webpack to pack the router and uh, into your worker.js. And then you can see here, this is where we import the WASM, the uh, Rust that's uh, converted into WebAssembly. And um, so this WASM constant is used uh, in the multiply route. So you can see uh, we await WASM and it gets the WASM functions. And then we get the multiply function from the WASM functions. And then um, this multiply is that Rust function that I showed you earlier. And so now we can do calculate is equal to the multiply, the first and the second number. And then remember this Rust function returns the um, result of the first times the second. And then we actually send it into the request of the router. And um, if you want to look at the router, it's uh, just some, it's a very, very basic router that I implemented in uh, JavaScript. And it just can listen for, um, you know, get requests or post or whatever. Um, and then it takes the request and the um, response. And so that's just the, uh, that's just, it just works like a, an express uh, router, but it's a lot, it doesn't have as many features and stuff. So. Um, then you can see that we return router.handle and we handle the request. So that actually sends the request into this router and it matches this if it's, if you're requesting that, um, and then the response gets returned by the router. Um, so that's how the example rust worker, um, is working. <laughs> and then, uh, to actually, uh, deploy it you have to install the dependencies and then you just do Wrangler publish. Um, and if you look in the uh, wrangler.toml, there's some things where you have to put in your credentials. It's, you can just look it up. It's fairly self-explanatory. Um, and then the one other thing that I wanted to cover was uh, you'll need to use a WASM pack plugin in your WebAssembly. So this will actually take your uh, Rust code and convert it into WebAssembly um, or whatever you'll have to look up and find whatever other uh, whatever other language you're using whatever pack you have to put into webpack.config um, the other thing that I want to cover was if you're using a single page application um, when you do Wrangler init space dash dash site this workers dash site folder is generated and in it there's index.js so what you'll want to do is put in serve single page app. So this means you're using the React router or if you're using Vue or another um, framework or uh, whatever the, they want to, I know there's the thing where they say, oh, it's not really a framework, whatever, but whatever other, you know, if you're using Vue or Angular or whatever, um, you'll have to take serve single page app if you're using a single page app and then in your options do map request to asset serve single page app. So the reason why you have to do this is because if you don't, then Cloudflare will think if you request like example.com slash uh, image or slash uh, login, let's say, it'll think you're requesting example.com slash login slash index.html since it doesn't know you're having a single page app and your app is handling all the requests, you know, like all the routing. Um, so that's the other thing that I wanted to mention. Um, besides that, you just do a normal React app. I mean, if you look through, this is just a normal React app. So after you initialize Wrangler, there'll be the Wrangler.toml and you just put in your credentials into that. Um, your, uh, you'll have to actually get your um, account ID and put that into Wrangler.toml. Everything else is just um, good. So after you set up the example of Rust worker, it will 
give you the URL and then you just put that in the source constants and then um, you do npm install, npm run build, and then you can publish it to Cloudflare workers, just like that. And you will end up with something that looks like this. That's what I got. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I apologize, this was my first video tutorial, so it's probably not the best, but um, hopefully in the future it'll be better. Um, I'm gonna continue making these and showing off things that I find interesting or uh, programs or other things that I want to explain.